What's up YouTube and today we're gonna talk about mouse DPI and polling rates. How does it affect gaming and do you really need the fastest and meanest mouse in the entire universe? Tune in to find out. So today we have two gaming mouses to compare. One is the Asus ROG Sika and the other is the Asus Cerberus. Now, while looking at it aesthetically, the Asus Cerberus seems to be the obvious choice, especially when you look at the specs, it has six colors that you can choose from and it has six buttons compared to the ROG Sika. There are some differences between these mouses. One is the ROG Cerberus has a 2500 DPI's while the ROG Asus Sika, the Asus ROG Sika has a 5000 DPI rating. Now, does this mean that the Asus ROG Sika is two times better than the Asus Cerberus? Let's define what DPI is. Now, DPI or dots per inch is a hardware measurement of how sensitive a mouse is. So what I'm gonna do now is notice the distance from here, from the mouse, the Asus Cerberus, to the edge of my laptop. Now, the cursor is at the edge of the screen, see? Now, notice how long, how it moves while I'm going to move the distance. So I'm going to move this mouse from here to the edge of the laptop and see where the cursor goes. So the cursor is just at the half of the screen. Now, using the other mouse, here we have the Asus ROG Sika. Now, it has the same distance between the mouse and the edge of the laptop, and the cursor is also at the right side of the screen. Now, I'm gonna move the mouse, same as how I moved the other mouse, from here to the edge of the laptop. Now, notice where my cursor is. It's way beyond the half of the screen. The higher the DPI, the farther on the screen the cursor will move, hence more sensitivity. Now this is very beneficial for those people who do designing for their work because the mouse can detect minute adjustments that they do for their designs or projects. But is it the same for gaming? Now, for gaming, for example, if you're going to be playing a first-person shooter and you're having a sniper rifle, a good DPI or a higher DPI is better because you can be more accurate in your movements. But this will also be depending on your screen. If you're using a 1080p screen, then a high DPI mouse would be more sensitive. Hence, you might be a little bit less precise. It might be too sensitive for you compared if you are using a 1440p monitor or a 4K monitor. A high DPI mouse would be very much recommended for those high resolution monitors because the mouse will be more sensitive to minute adjustments compared to a low DPI mouse. Now in my experience while gaming, a high DPI mouse is always good to be paired with a low sensitivity setting because the adjustments are much smoother and it always results in a better gaming experience. Let's talk about polling rates. Polling rates refers to how often the mouse reports its position to the computer. Now, both of these gaming mouse have different polling rates. The ASUS Cerberus has a polling rate of 125 hertz or 8 milliseconds, meaning that it reports its position to the computer every 8 milliseconds. The other, the ASUS ROG Sika, has a 1000 megahertz or 1 millisecond support meaning that it reports its position to the computer every 1 millisecond now the benefits of having faster polling rates is that it reduces the lag between when you move your mouse and the, when the system responds but the downside of that is it eats more CPU resources because your computer might be constantly communicating with the mouse every one millisecond compared to the other mouse, the Asus Cerberus that reports its position to the computer every eight milliseconds. Higher polling rates and higher DPIs might be beneficial to gaming, but it will always be depending on your setup and which games do you play. If you only game at 1080p with role-playing games or turn-based games, then a low DPI mouse with a low polling rate is 
highly recommended or even a normal mouse can be recommended at that case. But if you plan on playing fast paced games, then a higher DPI mouse and a higher polling rate mouse is highly recommended because time is paramount and accuracy is also needed when playing these kind of games. Hit like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and as usual, see you in the next one.